Life on Earth with Larissa. And today we are going to be talking about self-care. Something going on with my ear. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about self-care. Um, I need to put some more students. I was crying at church. So one of my eyes looked darker than the other, don't it? And I think I got the concealer that's almost gone. I think I grabbed the concealer that's almost gone. That's supposed to conceal under my eyes so it don't look as dark. And this is the Fenty sealer, uh, concealer. It's supposed to take some of the um, darkness out off from under my eyes, see? These bags, and that might be just from, I need more rest. Uh, but I have low iron. It's not so low that I have to take iron pills every day, but I do have low iron. And so, let me try to put some more. And some people, a lot of people with low iron, they have to, um, they have to, uh, well, not they have to, but they have like dark under their eyes. So, uh, low iron, people with low iron. But today it's about self-care. So, I'm doing a little self-care. Um... Take care of your hair. So I went and got mine done at the hairdresser. Look at that, y'all. I know them grays. Them grays is coming through, aren't they? Shoot, they about to tell my age, them grays. And if y'all been looking at my hands, my hands look like they didn't have it. So part of self-care, we want to take care of our hands too. But I do have some lotion. I'm going to put some lotion on it. Got some lotion. Um... This lotion I got from Bath and Body Works. And you know they have all kind of lotions. This, to me, to me this lotion is a bisexual lotion. So men can use it and women is a bisexual lotion. So men can use it and women. <laughs> I remember when I first uh smelled it I I think a woman had it on and I was like is she trying to smell masculine because you know some some people like to you know they do that on purpose they want to smell masculine on purpose and so it smelled good it looked like she did the whole nine the spray the the um lotion all of it it looked like she I mean it smelled like she used everything she was smelling good, but it had a, it has a masculine under, under scent. My husband, my husband uh, uses this stress relief. He likes to use it. Um, but I also like, I like the smell of it, but it is, it does smell masculine. So, but just know I ain't trying to be masculine. Okay, y'all. I like being a woman. So... I ain't into me. I ain't into uh, women. <laughs> I, I ain't trying to catch no woman. And I ain't trying to pretend to be no man who likes women or whatever that means. But um, stress relief. This is the name of the lotion. And see how hydrating it did? It did give my skin some hydration. Um, but that's part of self-care. Um, that's part of self-care. And how I was finishing my face. See how I was doing that? I put the makeup on. And now, I. when you're wearing a scent, it, it shouldn't be an air freshener for the whole room. <laughs> now, I used to, back in the day, I, I used to think the more the merry, I want to smell good and fresh. But, you know, you live and learn. You live and learn. And if you don't got nobody teaching you, you just try to, you know, wing it and hope somebody tell you, hey, man, you, you got on too much. 
uh, you got on too much cologne or you got on too much perfume, you know, really somebody should smell your scent if they're like literally right up on you or you give them a hug or something like that. And then you should like get, like you, you should get a, a whiff of them. But I shouldn't smell you, I shouldn't smell you um, and you across the room. That shouldn't happen. Now, a lingering scent you might leave in the room, but not like something that's overpowering. But put it this way, I'd rather you smell good and fresh than, um, than to be a stank butt. And um, so we gotta take care of ourselves. Y'all know I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. Water is my first choice of drink. If I'm thirsty or if I want something to drink, water is the first thing I grab for. Um, way we grew up, uh, drinking water, you know, um, when you're thirsty, it's some water in there. So we wasn't like a soda pop family. Uh, we didn't drink a lot of soda pops as, as youth. Mom would get us uh, soda pop every now and again, but it wasn't no everyday thing for us. We didn't have soda pop every day, have water. So drink a lot of water. It, take care of yourself, drink, drink some water. I can really drink a whole bottle at one in one setting and I do need to get my water intake. I'm going ahead and finish this bottle. Mm. That was good. So, Part of self-care, take care of yourself. Drink, drink lots of water. Our body is made up of water. Water, our bodies use water to flush out stuff that ain't supposed to be up in our bodies. So I just want to say that. Okay. Yeah, so take care of yourself. I'm really feeling this hair though, y'all. Y'all like that? Got some hair back there too. Y'all want to see it? You want to see it? I'll show you. Can you see it? Can you see that? That's all me, y'all. That's all me. <laughs> I just really like this uh, flowing hair, though. It's, yeah. But self-care, groom yourself. Get you a comb. This is a big comb. But groom yourself. Comb your hair. It's okay. Comb your hair. Take a bath. You know, take a bath or take a shower every day. Wash, wash yourself. You know, if you don't have access to a bath or shower, make sure you take a wash up. Or make yourself fresh. There are some instances where that's all you got to do or that's all you have time to do. Um, so, but keep yourself fresh. You shouldn't smell like funk. I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just saying, don't nobody want to smell your funk. That's not natural. Um, so you might want to like remove some body hairs and stuff like that. A lot of times body, uh, if you have like uh, strong body odors, you might have a lot of hair um, in, in various places. So you might want to remove those. Okay. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of what else. Y'all, I used to use one of those crunchies for the bath, but now I use uh, this boar, boar bristle brush and it just, it just gives me a good exfoliation. I feel extra clean. And hold on, I'm gonna show you what it looked like. All right, this is, a, this is one I already have on standby. So this, this brush, this is what I use for the bath. So I don't use those scrunchy things, you know, like come in different colors and they all scrunched up and they good at lathering and things like that. But I'm one, I like a good exfoliation. And this here is 100% natural bristles, bamboo handle. This is good. This one of them, this is a good brush. This is on standby. 
My other one is in there in the shower and I use that. So get you a good exfoliator. Um, so some people use this as a wet brush and they also use it as a dry brush. All right. And then the other thing is, um, take care of your nails. Don't nobody want to see your dirty nails. Even if you don't have polish on them, mine do not have polish on them. Mine don't have no polish on them. But even if you don't have polish on it, keep your nails clean. See, my nails is clean. You trim up your nails, file your nails, that kind of thing. But take care of yourself. Keep your clothes clean. Um, don't be wearing no dirty clothes. Why you put dirty clothes on a clean body? Don't, don't do that, don't do that. That's not a good idea. Wash your clothes. And if you're not in a place where you have a washer or dryer, hand wash your stuff. Do what you gotta do until you can do what you wanna do. So, what about y'all? Comment below. What kind of things did you do you do for self-care? That's part of self-care, loving on yourself. Um, and that's what self-care is, is you're loving on yourself. You're taking care of yourself. As, as adults now, um, we should know better how to take care of ourselves. So if we're not taking care of ourselves, then you might want to introspect and say, wait a minute, I'm not taking care of myself. You know, I'm not taking care of this, this beautiful body that God has given me. I'm doing things that are not good for my body. I'm doing things that are damaging to my mind. I'm doing things that damage those organs on the inside. I'm doing things that um, just that might cause um, that might cause uh, long-term damage um, in the future. Why am I doing these things to myself? But the Bible says, if we love ourselves, we will feed ourselves and clothe ourselves, and we'll take care of ourselves. We we don't want to damage our our bodies. We we want to take care of it so that self care is vital. I just wanted to get on here and encourage you, keep taking care of yourself, you know, and especially if you're a grown person, especially if you are an adult, if you don't take care of you, who's going to take care of you? You are able to take care of your own selves, then you should be taking care of yourself. If you're in a place where you absolutely cannot take care of yourself, maybe your mind you got a blockage up there in your mind that is you don't even you don't even take baths you don't even wash yourself you know you don't even groom yourself you don't take care of, then you have something going on in your mind and uh and your mind is not telling the rest of your body uh to do these things for you then you need to go and get help you need to go some, get some straight up help if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not grooming yourself, if you ain't keeping your clothes clean, if you ain't keeping you clean, if you ain't getting regular checkups to the doctor or none of that, that means there's a problem. You know, um, that means you, you have a problem because as an adult, you should know how to just love on yourself. So I encourage you all to, to keep up the self-care. Um, we need to take care of ourselves. So keep, keep doing that self-care. Uh, this has been Life on Earth with Larissa, just encouraging you to take care of yourself. Self-care. Do that self-care. And you'll be happy in the long run. But this has been Life on Earth with Larissa. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you next time.